so we are back again with another video and we've got some huge breaking news as the new Super League is set to be announced and Arsenal are set to earn and the other 14 founding clubs over £500 million. Pounds. Wow. So the Premier League's big six have signed up for a new European Super League which is set to be announced tonight at 9.30pm UK time. Um, and and will move to spell the end of domestic and European competition as we know it. The big six of English football have signed letters of intent to join a new European Super League, which will be announced at 9.30 on Sunday evening. Man City were last to agree on Saturday, joining Manchester United, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea and Tottenham in the breakaway, which will spell the end of uh, competition in domestic and European football as we know it. The new league represents the American takeover of elite European football, which will be a closed shop run by its founding members. It is bankrolled by US banking giant JP Morgan and the brainchild of Real Madrid president Florentino Perez and the American owner of the three leading English clubs, which includes Spurs, Arsenal and Manchester United um, with the Glazers and... Um, a Kroenke being spearheading this move. It is believed that Florentino Perez will hold the chairman's role in the new league structure with Liverpool's John W. Henry, Joe Glazer of Manchester United and Arsenal owner Stan Kroenke as vice chairman. Andre Agnelli, chairman of Juventus and believe until now to be an ally of UEFA president Alexander Treferin will occupy the fourth vice chairman role. Chefrin is understood to be furious at Agnelli's betrayal, the news which comes less than 24 hours before UEFA's own proposals for a revamped Champions League. The plan for the Super League to evolve is roughly 15 to 18 teams, but the initial 10 signatories uh, to the deal are the six English clubs, plus Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid from Spain, and Juventus, AC Milan and Inter Milan from in Italy. This leaves room for other major clubs such as Bayern Munich and PSG to be picked off with UEFA's own competitions hope, hopes, hopelessly devalued. Wow. The Premier League are aware of the agreement and have spent the weekend formulating their response. The six clubs are not intending to resign from domestic football but need Premier League permission to join any new competitions. This would be the first sticking point because the Premier League board is unlikely to grant any request that weakens its own competitive value. It does not need to be put to a vote of the 20 clubs um, but goes before the Premier League board comprising Gary Hoffman chair, Richard Masters chief executive and Kevin Beeston who is non-executive director. If they say no to the European Super League as expected, the club will have to break away entirely from the Premier League in order to join, putting the jeopardy of players' participation in UEFA and FIFA competitions such as the World Cup and Euros. The Premier League condemns any proposal that attacks the principles of open competition and sporting merit, which are the heart of the domestic and European football pyramid. Fans of any club in England and across Europe can currently dream that the club may climb to the top and play against the best. We believe that the concept of a European Super League will destroy this dream. The Premier League is proud to run a competitive and compelling football competition. It's just some other stuff um, which, you know, it said. And uh, wow, based on our understanding, uh, the, um, the UA European Super League concept is set outside the auspices of UEFA and the current uh, European Sporting Pyramid offering 15 founding members. Now, these 15 founding members reportedly will earn £350 million pounds Three hundred and fifty million pounds. Three hundred and fifty million pounds um, to join the league, and a further two hundred and thirty-three million pounds if there are any reforms. So this could be over five hundred million pounds worth of revenue in this new European Super League for every founding member. Wow. And that is the new European Super League that has is going to be announced at nine thirty tonight. Huge breaking news, and that is meant and that is mad. Um, and that is why people, uh, Joel Glazer and Stan Kroenke, bought United and Arsenal to guide them into a European Super League and take all the money. Well, it is what it is, isn't it? So that's mad. Um, and if the Premier League say no which they probably will, then Arsenal, all the big six, will have to break away entirely from the Premier League to join this European Super League and play in it week on week. A lot to take in there, people. But 
<clears throat> my thoughts on it, I don't want this to happen. I think it'll ruin any integrity that the sport has and it will just finish it because it's purely money based. Look at the figures over 500 million pounds. That is mental, crazy stuff. Wow, it, it is absolutely mad. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. I'm speechless, and uh, we're going to find out more at 9.30 tonight what's going to happen with this, but it's going to be very interesting to see, and um, let's see what happens, but whew, it's going to be a very interesting one. Let's see if the Premier, what the Premier League say. It's going to all go down, and uh, the European Super League could be a reality. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below.